All right, so control medications are really important to know about because there's so many rules and guidelines that, that go along with these medications. Um, and so we're just gonna go over them. We're gonna talk about what makes them a, a, a scheduled medication. Um, scheduled, controlled, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, those are all gonna be all mean control medications. And so we'll talk about what they're used for. Um, well, not so much what they're used for, but we'll talk about um, why they're controlled medications, how many refills they, are, they have, and I'll give you some examples of, of some control medications. So the Schedule 1 is a high abuse, it has a high abuse and addictive potential, but these have no accepted medical use in the United States. Um, this could include heroin, methaqualone, and other certain opiates. Um, there is no prescription that's going to be okay for these medications, but they are actually used for research. So researchers do use these medications. Schedule 2 is going to be high abuse and addictive potential, but have medicinal benefits. One form that I'll post below in the comments is the DEA 222 form. Now this form right here, whenever you order a controlled medication, or sorry, not, a, not any control, but a C2 medication, you're gonna order it on the DEA 222 form. And the DEA 222 form, you can only order 10 at a time. So you can order only order 10 at a time. Um, these are accepted in the U.S. for medical use. Um, there is a severe liability to cause psychic or physical dependence. Um, written prescriptions are always, you always need a hard copy of the prescription. Um, and there are no refills allowed. So refills for the Schedule 2, refills are always going to be zero. You can never have any refills on a Schedule II medication. The RX is only good for 60 days. So let's say that they wrote the prescription on January 2nd of 2014. It'll expire on March 2nd, 2014. So it's only good for 60 days. Um, a few examples of this of the Schedule 2 can be Percocet, Adderall, Ritalin, Oxycodone, Morphine. Um, so a lot of these ones are going to be your, your high-end pain medications. And so I won't write those down. I'll just erase that. But those are going to be good to know that. It's usually going to be the pain medications or on the attention deficit disorder, ADD medications. Those are all going to be C2 medications. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the C2. Now, a Schedule 3 is going to be the potential for abuse is less than a C1 or a C2. Um, the abuse may lead to moderate or low physical dependence or a high psychological dependence. Oral prescriptions are allowed. So if the doctor calls into the pharmacy, you're not allowed to take the prescription over the phone. Um, that is something else to remember. And, you know, I'll go ahead and write it down up here. So pharmacy techs, I'll just go ahead and say CPHT are not allowed, are not allowed to take orders over the phone. So to take orders over the phone. You'll always need to have a pharmacist take the orders. Um, and that's for any medication. But Schedule 3 medication, Schedule 3. Three, four, and five, they are allowed to have orders over the phone, but it's through the pharmacist that they're allowed to. Um, the order is, the prescription is good for six months. So six months, and then the prescription expires. Then expires. Okay, now the amount of refills um, that are allowed for a C3, or C3 through C5, are going to be six months total so it could be five refills because the initial ref or the initial fill is going to be one so the plus the five is going to be six refills if it's a mail order and they get 90 if they get 90 tablets or 90 day supply 
they're going to only be able to have one refill because 90 day supply is going to be three months. And so if you have another one, that's going to be your 60 days. So the schedule four and five, the abuse is, I'll do schedule four first. So the low potential for abuse um, relative that leads only to limited physical dependence or psychological dependence. Now this has the same restrictions as C3 through SC3. Um, a few examples of this could be Xanax, Ativan, Clonazepam, Zolpidem, Darvacet, Restoril. So those are just a few of the examples for the for the C4s or the Schedule 4 medications. And the C5, the potential for abuse is less than the, of course, C1 through C4. Um, these may be dispensed without a prescription. So the doctor can call in, fax in, or just speak in or just call in and talk to you and that'll that'll be good let me go ahead and put the refills for the schedule four so the refills refills for schedule four are also going to be five refills for a total of six months for a total of six months and it's good for six months as well so expires so it expires after six months all right so that's good to know as well now the schedule five is different so the schedule five refills are good for a year so refills can be for one year and the prescription all prescriptions expire after one year if they don't fall within the control category um, but the schedule five is going to the refills is one year and the expiration the expiration is also going to be one year now, example of a Schedule 5 might be Lomatil, Finnergan, Acetaminophen with, with codeine elixir. And so, yeah, um, another few points, some other points that I want to mention um, is that, sorry, so other points that I want to mention is that any control medication that's dispensed they need to be 18 years old to pick it up. 18 years old or greater. So equal to greater than or equal to 18 years old. Okay. And that's how the old they need to be in order to pick it up. And they also need to have appropriate identification. So they also need ID. Another form that is important is going to be your DEA. DEA 106 form. Now a DEA 106 form is going to be any lost or controlled medic or lost or stolen control medications. I'll just say control substance. So lost or stolen control substance and you'll need to fill out a DEA 106. And I'll go ahead and put a link on the bottom um, down there in the description. So that's the control substances. Those are going to be important to know. Um, and that's it for the control substances.